Hello Bridgers, as you can see there's a 3 kV Sumac Fireman generator. So a client called me that this generator, the ignition key refuses to turn to the on button. As you can see, it's very stopped. So what could be the cause of this? Let's change the key to the other side to check it out and see. Wow. I think this key is bad. So in this video, we're gonna change this ignition key is bad. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to do that easily, how to change your ignition key. So firstly, we're gonna remove the key first. So after that, we're gonna tap the hook here anti-clockwise. Yeah, so close the screw. You see? So you can see how easy it is for us to remove. So remove this. So the next step to take is what? As you can see, there's a clip here. So you disconnect it, you press this down. And you disconnect. You can see? Removed it. As you can see, we removed the bad key. As you can see, see how stuck it is. Not moving at all. Not moving at all. Really stuck. So we've gotten a new one. As you can see, there's a new one here. So you can see how this one is moving. Yeah, there's the on and start. On and start. So let's insert now. So we have to unscrew this new one. As you can see. So you note there's a there's a hook here. The hook here that is going to turn the director so you can see more. The hook here that is going to stay here. As you can see, the hook that is going to stay here. So be mindful of that. So that's it. So we are going to insert it through the back side. Through the back side. Can see, yeah. So, what next we are going to do now is to put the the rubber washer. Yeah, you see, just and the screw. So make sure the hook is there. The hook I show you is going to be here. So it's not it's not be moving freely. So what next to do now? is to tap this screwdriver tap it little by little so it's gonna be tight don't over tighten it it can go broken in the process so take it slowly slowly as you can see now it's not firm no not that firm let's see continue tapping So the next step to take now is to connect this, this one to connect it to this. Yeah. So you clip it inside, make sure it's well connected. It's well connected. Make sure it's well connected. So the next thing to do now is to test the job. Yeah. There's a job, so we hold it on the foot down. So that is how to change the negation key for 3 kV generator. If you find this video helpful, please can subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We love you.